Hi, this is Dylan Giovane with Behind the Markets. Happy Wednesday, July 10th. You know, I wanted to raise my kids to be a certain type of people. You know, I wanted to raise them to be respectful, hardworking, patriotic, not to gossip. You know, I always say to my kids, don't say anything about somebody behind their back that you wouldn't say to their face, you know? I, I wanted them not to back down, to know when to stand up for themselves, you know, not to let anybody else tell them what they're worth. You know, these are the things that I, w I wanted to raise my kids with. These are some of the things that I wanted to pass down to my children. You know, a love for great people and, and accomplishment and ambition and all these other things. One of the other things that I wanted to pass down to my kids was I didn't want them to be suckers, you know, in the markets. I wanted them to be sophisticated investors. And, you know, whatever, whatever path they choose in life for their career, that's not my decision. I'm just going to try to really encourage them as long as they're doing something that they believe in. You know, I think it's a real trap in this country that we teach our kids to go for, you know, be happy. You got to be happy. You got to be happy. That to me seems like a crazy mistake. What I tell my kids is that do something that gives your life meaning every day. And the byproduct of that is that you'll find happiness from time to time. But if you're always looking for happiness, I mean, ice cream is happiness. But one of the big, big things that I wanted to hand down to my kids was not to be a sucker in the markets and really to understand that we, you know, these are businesses that you're evaluate, uh, looking at. The other thing is to understand when the market crashes, how to really take advantage of it. You know, we, <coughs> for the past, you know, 20 years, we see that we have a, a bear market once every 4.8 years, you know, you think the dot-com crash, 2003, you think the 2000 uh, Great Recession, 2008, 2009 Great Recession, you think, you know, the 2016, the market went down, 2020 COVID. You know, sometimes these crashes happen uh, because of unexpected events. You know, again, 9-11 is one of those, uh, COVID is, is another one. But no matter what happens, when they do occur, people panic. And you can make a lot of money when people panic. This is one of the big lessons that I've learned in my life. And I want my kids to know how to do that. And one of the things that's helped me the most is that I was very, very lucky when I first started in this business because I got to work with old timers who taught me that you don't have to be a wizard or a genius of Warren Buffett. You just have to know in advance the signs to look for for a coming market crash. And you have to know you know, basically the steps you need to take to prepare in advance and during the market crash. And, you know, uh, I put that playbook to great effect. Every time the market crashes, I put that playbook to great effect. But most famously, the last time I was, you know, I called a market crash, which is for the Great Recession, a year and change before it happened, where it was just like, I basically, it was a play that was happening exactly like I imagined it. And I think that, and I'm not a negative Nancy. I don't think there's bear markets. I'm not one of these guys that runs around saying, oh my God, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Falling is the sky. I'm just not built that way. I'm pretty optimistic by nature. But, you know, I, I'd become more bearish than I have uh, on aggregate since, since the last time I made a bearish call, which is in 2008. So 2007, actually, ahead of that. And, you know, what I've done for the very first time is I wanted to hand to my children my four steps for profiting or surviving and profiting from a market crash. Four steps to take that you do in advance. And, and, I, actually, and I actually wrote them down and I didn't want to hand them because they're not old enough. You know, I didn't want to hand them to them. You know, and it, what I did was I added it to the new book uh, that I published, Midnight in America, that, that's coming out soon. And, you know, what's really cool about it is for the very first time, I tell you the actual four steps you need to take. And, you know, step one is, you know, you got to sell certain stocks because, uh, you know, period. That's just the bottom line. And I tell you exactly the kind of stocks that you need to sell. You know, step two is you got to take that money that you raised from selling those stocks and you've got to put them into certain places where they're really safe, short term debt type of places. Step three is you've got to create a shopping list in advance of the market crash so you know which stocks you want. And I tell you how to break that down. And then step number four is you've got to get ready to pound. So when this starts to actually happen, what do you buy? How do you know to buy it? At what price do you know to buy it? Because remember, 
the, the, it, buying during a market panic is a very unnatural act for most people. Because remember, you're going to wake up in the morning and on the news, it's going to be, oh my God, this is the greatest crisis since the Great Depression. Oh my God, bankrupt. Lehman Brothers is going bankrupt. Oh my God, JP Morgan. Oh my God, this, all these headlines are going to be screaming disaster. Your friends are going to be saying, oh my God, it's the worst. I'm losing my job. I'm losing my business. And it's going to really suck to hear all of that. But if you have a plan, then what you can do is systematically, it becomes like playing a video game where you just make a left here, make a right there, make a left here, make a right there. It really is like the playbook for how to do this. And it's a playbook that I learned from old timers that came before me. And it's the playbook that I develop and put into practice every time the market has crashed. That is how I've done so well. I make most of my money during market crashes, frankly, as an investor. And what I did again is I wrote it for my kids, but I've added it to Midnight in America, my new book that's coming on. And I'm telling you, I think that that is, I think you're gonna wanna pass it on. I think you're gonna use it. And I think you're gonna wanna pass it on to your kids and grandkids. I really truly believe that. The reason I believe that is, look, you can take, if you know what you're doing during a market crash, what will happen is you can take $10,000 and literally over the five years after the market crash, turn that into $100,000. And then the next time there's another market crash, you can take that $100,000 and turn it into a million. And if you have a half a million, you could do the same. You could turn it into 5 million. And then, you know, 10 times that even over time. It's a playbook for building serious wealth. I have never shared it before. It's the same darn playbook that I'm passing down to my kids. And I'm actually happy to share it with my members for the very, very first time. So, you know, keep your eye out for it in my new Midnight in America book. Have a great day.